What the hell? The hive cluster is under attack. <laughs> Unleash the master plan. What you do now? You cannot touch blood. We require more. Alright, I'm done. What the fuck are all these queens coming from? Super slow queens. Got something for me to kill. Fair enough. Alright. GG. Our forces are under attack. The hive cluster is under attack. Ah, uh, I hate these games. <laughs> They just mess with my mind and eat at my integrity. They make you less of a man? Yeah. I'll see you guys late next time. Uh. Have fun. Aw, you did well, Ricky. What, did Ricky just give up? Yeah. yeah. Fucking he still did pretty French. well though. I I think that is like the most balls to the walls game I have played of that map. I think the only thing that would have been more close to defeat is when EV Web was reduced to like a single command center in that one game. I'm out of cash, so I cannot clean longer. Like Did you I had Ricky, that by chance? I had Ricky probably almost dead in the beginning, and then you just rolled in with a bunch of butter, and my infrastructure, my infrastructure was already really hurting, so that just made things worse. But ours had this this ridiculous excess of minerals that just allowed me just to build everywhere, but not much gas because every time I tried to get my gas infrastructure going, Ricky would just backdoor me, and yeah. I think at one point, um, I forgot who it was, someone rolled in with something and destroyed all my gas production, but by then I already had 75,000 units stored. When a Imperia, when he left the game, that just gave me so much leeway. I, feel I just, I just expanded everywhere. You're trapped in time! Are you gonna cast that one? I was recording while playing. Really? Really? Well, I think a cast meant in third person maybe better, I'm not sure. I would love to see a cast of that. Well, see you later guys, it was fun. Oh dear. Uh, I just try so Detox much to kill like Max. Oh, Sam dear. has connected. Well, you see, the big problem, Ricky, is that the majority of my infrastructure, when my main was down, was actually on those two islands, so... 
Even though you were killing the other bases, they weren't really- they were delaying me, but they weren't really doing that much. At least in mineral-wise, it still had too many minerals. I'm really surprised- one of the trends I've noticed with this map so far is that very few people are rushing to the middle anymore. Like, Detox had like, maybe one or two bases there, but never like the entire middle. And when all your Reapers passed by the middle, I fungled them twice and killed like 15 of them, it was pretty funny. Also a bunch of Milas. A bunch of Aegis are that, kind that of... That one infester. Aegis are kind of OP on the map because everyone likes the mass units of the same exact type and, well... I think there's some ways you could kill mass Aegis, but definitely not with Yggdrasils because they will hit all the Interceptors and all the Interceptors will die. Like, a Megalisk worked pretty well. Um, in particular because Plus of lacking you can kite them right? through the... you can kite them through the... the oh no, they're, they're too fast to kite through it. You, you can't, they're, there's, you can't get them to that. I tried to move back, but the Omega Lisk is still too fast, and the snow go up too slow. You're better off just sitting there just attacking and just spreading out, and hopefully have some degree of comparable upgrades. But in that case, if you are dealing with uh, Omega Lisk, something like Sniper Commandos with some upgrades would, would kill those off pretty easily in that fight. Because the thing about the Aegis is that it demolishes all the smaller units. So all the interceptors from the Aegis will die off, and things like Zerglings die off, and it just leaves the strong units. And the strong units take oh, a while yeah. to kill them. To counter the Aegis, maybe a battle cruiser with the Yamato. I think, I think, don't, doesn't their shield reduce spell damage though? Strike cannons didn't seem to do a hell of a lot to them. Yeah. Valkyrs could possibly still work, but you need a lot of them. Well, something like sniper commandos would work really well, though. Well, just a few of them. Yeah, just especially if they have upgrades, because their base damage gets that goes up to like eighty or something when they're upgraded. So they're pretty decent against those. Aegis is not really that durable. It's just a lot of small units aren't going to touch it. You need like a lot of very single target. Also, low barrage works too. Indeed. Doesn't EMP effective shielding? The EMP will take down the, the shield, the shield and energy. The, uh, the shield and energy. On the Aegis. Pretty much you prevent that to cast a uh, dispel to slow down uh, enemies uh, of his choosing. Well, and the IRA uh, effect. Who's killed there? The guy who made Fleet Assault. He needs people to test his imbalances. Okay. The sad part is, is that at any point in that game, all Detox had to do was just walk over to the islands with like one or two Yogi Sills, and that probably would have been screwed. Because I had no gas to buy that many scourge, except for a lot of those games when I lost are really messages. simple things, and someone would have been screwed, but nobody does them. So there's yeah. so much shit going on, and it's so big. Interior I still would like to know why EV Web and someone else always gets disconnected, though. That, that's getting to be pretty stupid. Connection based on location to the it, world server. Well, for it's like freaking. The original Battle.net that just disconnects people randomly when it splits, it's really, really dumb. Uh, you'd think they would have well, fixed so that by now. It's now because you can't just be disconnected from Battle.net. You disconnect from Battle.net, it drops you entirely. You can't just be disconnected from Battle.net if you're playing a game still. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that was a good thing about Warcraft 3, is it didn't just kick you out of the game, and this, it just yeah, completely well, splits the game. Well, that's everything before Warcraft 2, or before Starcraft 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember now, yeah. In Starcraft 1, it didn't kick you out of the game, either. I think in Diablo 2, it, it just flat out blew up games. Yeah, it's because it was a server side on Battle.net, where if you got dropped off there, you are out of the game, basically. No way it could keep you there. And this is really stupid though, I mean, you're like, 
an hour into a two hour game and half the people just fucking disconnect. Man, you can't save either. Oh no, no. Surprise! Can't do Lol Battle.net 2.0. Probably still using the exact same server infrastructure as the original. I wouldn't put it past him. It's in real T0.2. Exactly. Well then, do you still care about uh, some games? Um, it's using the same one from StarCraft I'm pretty tired 1, right now. Warcraft 3. I'm getting off though. I'm probably gonna go to sleep soon. Sam has I'm not sure. Right Good night. Sense. All I really wanted to play is Warlords and Merchants anyways, unless you intend on playing Malay or something. Uh, let's see... I think upon which case in Perio will probably just rape us. <laughs> Just to know if Empire wants to uh, wants to play me in general or not. God, it's getting hot in here. I have to turn on my fan. That's bad. Don't like playing StarCraft 2 that much because if I try to not suck, it ends up affecting me physically after a while, and I just can't keep that. So I do say I announced two versus two or four versus random people. What do you choose? So I say against random people for a change. Oh god. Let's die or kill new guys. <laughs> <laughs>